We'll be going through the recent past energy. We'll take a look and see what's coming up for you and your person. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, you've had this Two of Cups, and it's with judgment. Now, the Two of Cups, it can refer to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, it's with judgment card, which can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So if you're prone to doing such things, this is probably a sign to slow down. Maybe give things more thought. Maybe give people more chances. Only you know the situation. Also, this can be a time of spiritual awakening. So, Aries, the reason past energy, two of cups, and judgment for you and your person. Yeah, so, this felt like a very romantic love that was probably going to go to the next level. Marriage, pro proposal, commitment. I, this connection felt like it was the perfect connection. You saw your person as the ideal partner. There was a harmony. It felt like a union, a deep connection with this Two of Cups showing up. But then something happened that caused the connection to be at a make or break period. Yeah, it looks like you started to jump to conclusions about things. Yeah, you became very judgmental towards your person. Something happened. I don't know what it was, but it caused you to have a hard time forgiving. Maybe you f forgave them one too many times. But yeah, with the judgment card, it, it's showing that the connection would have been at a make or break period. It could have gone either way. But without forgiveness and jumping to a lot of conclusions, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's kind of like touch and go. But it was great for a while. It felt like, uh, you were with the perfect mate. They saw you as the ideal partner. So let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Eight of Wands, and it's with the Death card. Now, the Eight of Wands is showing a lot of things could be up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer. You probably have done all that you can do now. Decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force things. Because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all on the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. Now, it's with the death card. Keep in mind, the death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates tr transformation and change. This could definitely be a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations. Things and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. The transition, it can be very difficult for some people. But the change is nearly always needed. So coming up for you and your person, Eight of Wands, ends with a death card. So it looks like there's a lot of communication, back and forth, back and forth. 
Yeah, a lot of talk, text, messages. Sometimes it doesn't come in fast enough. Yeah, like I said, you've, for some reason, you've been jumping to a lot of conclusions. You know what's going on. You know what the situation is and why you're jumping to conclusion, conclusions and being very judgmental towards your person. It looks like you could be thinking about, with the death card here, you could have come to some type of conclusion. Or maybe you've, you've, you're losing interest. A lot of communication back and forth, you and your person. It doesn't, it, right, for right now, it doesn't show like it's helping much because it's causing you to, or maybe your person to lose interest. Yeah, communication is not working, put it that way. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We have a King of Swords and it's with Temperance. King of Swords can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card does not represent an actual person in your life, so you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords can be a very forceful energy, so you may not be able to get this person in, in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. Now, so temperance. Temperance is showing that all your relationships, they could be going quite well. But you might need to look, may, maybe you need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships. Also with any goals or aspirations that you have. So your challenge, King of Swords, clarified by Temperance. Yeah, it's this King of Swords, I guess it's a very forceful energy. They use their head over their heart. The uh, King of Swords will um, be stereotypically manly. They will overstep their bounds. Highly op opinionated, forceful, strong. The King of Swords will mistreat you. So... It could be some fighting, and your person becomes very forceful, or maybe say things that hurt you in a really, really, really bad way. King of Swords is considered the narcissist in the deck, but I'm just getting that, um, not necessarily your person is a narcissist, but they might just become very forceful with you, very cold and callous. And the King of Swords can easily just cut you with their words. Yeah, so there could be some conflict coming up. But it looks like you're trying to put balance back into, maybe I'm going to say yourself. Find balance in yourself and possibly the relationship for some of you. So you're just looking for peace of mind now. Yeah, this... Temperance can be about looking at anything you feel guilty about, any mistakes that you feel you've made, and then forgiving yourself, because you know that that's the only way that you can truly make progress with yourself, with life, and in the connection. So you're trying to bring balance back to yourself, or maybe the connection. But it looks like um, your person gets really agitated. And can become very forceful. So we move on over and take a look at the outcome. Two of Swords and through the Six of Pentacles. The Two of Swords tells us that your partnership is still likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business.
However, you might need to consider, consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship, the connection, and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance, but this certainly requires open communication. Now it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles can be a sign of a turn for the better, particularly when it comes to money questions, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles is, can be a card about generosity, meaning that you're either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have. There's always someone who needs it. Okay, so... Like I said, your person, they become very forceful with you. They're just saying mean, maybe they're just saying mean and nasty words that are really cut. And you're just trying to pull yourself together. Get peace of mind again. Um, the outcome is showing that you might start to block your person. Yeah, because you realize that's what you have to do just to... Pull yourself back together to gain your composure again. Bring balance back into your thoughts and your mind. But this, the Six of Pentacles is here, so... They might try to, your person might try to come around and um, try to fix things. Maybe they'll start doing nice things for you. At least that's what they... It looks like they want to do, but they can't do it if you block them, and it looks like you're blocking them. So, it looks like they could be attempting to try to fix things. So, Aries, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next, for the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or some type of situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.